Nuisance homes now for sale. This comes after the city of Portland cracks down on derelict homes and the owners of those properties. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And we sent Elise Haas to find out more about the latest foreclosure auction. And she joins us tonight. Elise. Jeff, so the city held an auction today uh, for four foreclosure properties that they've taken into foreclosure. And this is after they have worked four years trying to get the owners to bring those properties up to code. But only one of those properties sold today. On a quiet dead end street in southeast Portland sits this rundown house. Neighbors say it's been vacant for well over a decade. And all property owners are required to maintain their properties to minimum standards to ensure the safety of their properties and to make sure that their properties don't become nuisances for their neighbors or the community at large. The city says they try to work with owners to get their vacant properties back up to code, but if they don't comply... As a last resort, when all other efforts to try to get property owners to comply have failed, we can pursue a foreclosure process to make sure that they are no longer a nuisance to the community. This property was the only house that sold at the city's foreclosure auction Monday. This news gives neighbors mixed emotions. They're sad for the owner and also deeply concerned about what a developer would do to their tight-knit block of nearly century-old homes. But from experience, a sale doesn't necessarily lead to quick action. It's just a nuisance. Take it from Gail Norman. She has to look at this property on Northeast Fremont every day. She thinks it's more than just an eyesore. It's only gone from bad to worse. So far, no, nothing's been done with the property. It's still there. And people still pull up their RVs and their cars, uh, graffiti, and drugs, and crime, and garbage. She says this property is an open invitation for crime. She locks her gates for her own safety after having several trespassers. The city sold this nuisance property at a foreclosure auction last fall. While the sale comes as relief to some living and working nearby, Gail says she's hopeful for improvement, but she's not holding her breath. The city's criteria for foreclosure on a house includes the property must be vacant, a repeated source of nuisance complaints and repeated costly cleanups by the city, often a repeated source of criminal behavior or fires and calls from police, and or a long-standing case with no movement and extremely high lien balances, typically greater than $250,000 that makes selling it by the owner difficult, if not impossible. And there are three other properties that the city still has on its foreclosure list that didn't sell today. Two of them were in southeast Portland, the other was in northeast Portland, and those are going to remain on the city's foreclosure list and be sold hopefully at the next auction. Reporting live tonight, Melissa Haas, Coin 6 News.